The Prime Minister once said that Chinese dictatorship is something that he admired. We now learn that that wasn't a slip of the tongue. It is a fundamental principle of Canadian democracy that you do not send people to be tortured or killed. Canadians agree on that. Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch confirm the systematic use of torture and frequent executions in China. The Immigration Minister sees the profound moral problem of an extradition treaty with China. Why doesn't the Prime Minister? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, what this renewed and stable relationship with China allows for is an airing of concerns and difficulties faced by both countries. The fact that we now have an ongoing dialogue where we can highlight uh, concerns we have about consular cases and indeed in some cases resolve them, the fact that the Chinese can bring up issues that they have requests or questions about is what a strong relationship is all about. But as I have reassured, reassured Canadians many times, as I have said to the Chinese leadership, as I am happy to say in this House. Canada has very strong principles uh, around the rule of law, around extradition treaties, and we will not uh, bend those principles for anyone. Worth if it comes from a dictatorship that abuses human rights, Mr. Speaker.